Good afternoon. This is David, your friendly neighborhood crappie wrangler. And today I'm not fishing. Uh, I like to fish every day, except Sunday. But sometimes you have to take a day off and do some maintenance on your boat. Otherwise, you can't fish every day. So today is a maintenance day. Among other things, uh, I've taken everything out of the boat so that I can take the boat to the car wash and hose it down real good. But I would noticed I've been getting a little bit of feedback on my depth finder whenever I hit the button on my trolling motor to go forward. Now I've seen and read a lot of threads and a lot of videos and this and that on how to get rid of uh, feedback on your depth finder from your trolling motor. So this is just one other option and there are lots of other things have to be done first. You have to be sure your grounding and everything else is done. And uh, of course I did all that when I installed the depth finders. And uh, I'm kind of an electronics guy. So anyway, grounding and everything else is not a problem. But when I hit that foot control, I get a spike of RF on my trolling motor, of course the, uh, I mean on my depth finder. And of course a depth finder is a good depth finder. It cleans it up mostly pretty good. And you can still see through it, but it's not all the way clear. Well, I asked a friend of mine and he told me how to fix it because he was having the same problem. So I didn't figure this out myself. Someone else told me how to figure it out. So if you'll notice here, Here and here and here and there's another one back here that you can't see. There are four indentions where screws go that holds the top cap of your trolling motor on. Well I've already removed the screws so now we can take the cap off the trolling motor and what we're looking for is a fuse. There's a little three amp fuse underneath this. And when that fuse blows, you get feedback on your depth finder. So the, the first thing you wanna do is make sure you're not having a blown fuse. So let's remove the top. Like I said, I've already done this ahead of time, getting prepared. And if you pull this wire bundle out you'll see a fuse holder right here we pop the fuse holder out there's my 3 amp fuse and if we look at it carefully we can visually see that the fuse is blown now if the fuse isn't visually blown we're going to take a meter on ohms and check for zero ohms across the fuse. If we don't have zero ohms, then that fuse is blown. If it's infinite, and a lot of uh, volt, volt ohm meters or VOMs will have a little alarm that'll sound when you've got zero ohms. So you just kick it down to its lowest setting and there'll be an indication there that indicates that the alarm is gonna sound and you touch both blades and that thing will go off but uh, this one is visually uh, blown so we're just going to replace it put the waterproof cap back in get all of our wires pushed back down in there and those wires fit in there just pretty darn tight so now that we've got all that done all i'm going to have to do is put my cap back on and uh i I will be good to go. I will no longer have any feedback on my depth finder when I push the power button on the trolling motor. So when you put this cap back on, sometimes this little spring will pop out on one side or the other when you lift it off. So you just push it back down in the slot it's pretty easy to see and and this has to go in there just right 
or your pointer indicator indicating which direction you're going will not be accurate and when you go to put it on if it doesn't just snap right on then it's not just right you'll you can turn the indicator just a little bit back and forth and it'll go right on okay after I've changed my fuse I like to stand my Minn Kota up vertically straight up and down and then I'll check my screws again make sure they're tight <clears throat> I'll uh, push the pedal make sure it spins easily and that the indicator is pointing correctly and then I'll fire up my depth finder which I usually don't do on dry ground and then tap my power button and know for certain that I'm not getting any uh, feedback on my depth finder anyway uh, that is how to change the 3 amp fuse that's in here and uh, you don't want to go up and fuse you want to stay in a 3 amp fuse uh, and I actually kept looking until I found what was causing my fuse to blow and it was actually my power port on my boat on the dash I had a little 12 volt power port and a little charger I use to charge my cell phone when I'm out on the lake sometimes anyway it was the old power port and the way I figured it out is it blew the fuse for the power port and it blew the main power fuse on the battery and then this was the second time it blew the fuse in the trolling motor head and the first time it blew the fuse in the trolling motor head it didn't blow any other fuses so I had no way of knowing what was causing the problem but uh, Electronics is a lot like crappie fishing. You can reproduce a result a couple times and you got a pattern. And uh, this is how I figured this out. As far as what was causing the fuse to blow, it's the same way I figure out how to crappie fish. Uh, anyway, I uh, hope this video helps some people. Uh, like I said, I didn't figure this out myself, the unknown fisherman was having the same problem with his and he told me what to do and sure enough it worked so it it does pay to be able to take advice anyway this is crappie wrangler signing off